Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3 Part 194. And I'm using the Pojo for this segment, because I feel like using the Pojo. I've had this car for a while. I forget when I got it. I think it's this is my, uh... My, uh... Uh, level 50 prize, if I remember correctly, but anyways. Yeah, we're gonna use the Pojo to end the, uh, circuit spec section with the LMP Invitational. Limited to R1 class prototype. One cars, no P2 cars allowed. So, yeah. So, here's all the tracks we're gonna be visiting. Interesting that we're gonna be doing the old Mulsanne version of, uh, Lasarth. You know, the one without the chicanes. But, uh, yeah, so let's go to Season Play Mode, because this has been on the, the uh, Try New Car section for fucking ever. So, hey, get to do that, and then go right into more prototype racing immediately after this segment. So let's get started at Sebring. All right, here we go. It's time for the Pojo three-way, and probably also an Audi here and there. Because, you know, looks like I'm gridding up second, so starting behind Rossi, but in front of more. Interesting. Here we go. Six laps. Very quick laps at Sebring. Because we're in the quickest cars in the game. So, this will be interesting. I'm off to a horrible, horrible start. Need to uh, get my bearings with this car quickly. Close attention to Weber in the alley. Oh, yeah, there it goes. He dove on me. I had a feeling I was breaking way too early. Guess what? I was. Do I need to get a handle of this car fucking quick? If I want to stand a chance, you can just heck off Weber. There we go. This is the track where we ended Forza 2. And we're beginning this part of Forza 3. Hey, anyways. Fuck. Okay. In my attempt to uh, become the quickly, I'm overdriving the car. Go me. I've already lost two seconds to Moore and Rossi. Holy shit. Quite a stacked field we got here. More P1 entries than any other, uh, than in real life, that's for damn sure. <laughs> <coughs> I got jokes. You know what I don't have right now? Speed. Hopefully, I acquire some. In a very short amount of time. Gotta get a feeling uh, of the car, and we'll be fine. Nice corner. Shut up, Scotian. I know. I, I pulled. I pretty much pulled a Lewis Hamilton there. It's okay. I'm not gonna get penalized for it since it's a Lewis Hamilton on Max Verstappen. <laughs> yeah, shut up, me. References. At least the car, the top, the rear tires are stable in second gear, so that's good. Well, I'm inching closer. <clears throat> Getting like two tenths throughout this lap so far. Although I probably lost it in that one turn. Oh shit, this is bad. Shit, the quick. Gotta pace up, bro. Okay, that was awful, but I still gained three tenths in that sector. I don't know how. <clears throat> okay, 43 flat. I got to do better. This isn't a world championship race where I have all the time in the world. That's six laps as opposed to like 10 million. And plus, 
pass, you know, I have to pass two cars as opposed to one. I like how Miller's staying right on Rossi's ass. <clears throat> Just right on that ass. there for more. He kind of barely brushed the dirt as he turned in. Oh, what the fuck was that, Muller? I think he's looking for ways past Rossi, and he's just kind of all over the place now. Taking out cones and shit. Started rewatching Sonic Adventure, don't know why. Yeah, it's not car. Why would anyone watch that? Come on. This is another, not R1 invitation, well, not just R1 invitation, but LMP1. Do I care to do Crash Bandicoot LP? Not right now, most because I've never played Crash Bandicoot. I mean, if it's something that I actually picked up and played and was confident and wanted to do it, yeah, maybe, but eh. For now, no. Oh no! That is exactly what I've been trying to avoid. Wheel spin. God damn it. I just knew that one moment of wheel spin was going to happen and it was going to cost me any chance of victory. There it is. There it fucking is. Sank Adventure 2. I don't know. I need to do that. Should I play the Jack series? How about I, I jack your ass into, uh, I don't know. Got nothing. Hmm, I'm feeling out of slipstream range. A little too late on the brakes. Okay, two to go. I might pull off some sort of miracle here. I doubt it, but there's a possibility. So you got to the final boss of Unleashed and then just stop playing. G fucking G, bro. Oh, nice try, car. Try to do get some more wheel spin. Won't allow that. Also, the Pojo squad is uh, a little bit OP here. That gap between me and Weber and Forth. Okay, we are close. Substream and more. Sunset bend, maybe. It's all about accelerating out. Oh, oh, shit, touching. Got him, though. Okay, final lap. Can we get around Rossi? I'm going for the dive in one. Oh, and it's stuck. Fucking beautiful. Alright, now I just have to keep my car on the track. I should be fine here. 
these braking zones are going to be uh, ass clunchers, though. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, precisely why those are ass clinchers. See how close Rossi got to me? Holy shit. That, um... It's as close as you can get without actually touching. Rydler. Okay, no retard die from Rossi. I was actually kind of expecting that, but no. Oh, I screwed up this turn immensely, goddammit. Absolutely awful. What's an apex? Okay. Got a good exit out of that turn, so we're good. We are good to go to victory. Okay. No idea how I pulled that off, but I did it. I did it. So that's cool. So we'll pull one down, five to go. Now we wait. I didn't realize that Mazda was a P1 car. I thought it was a P2 car. I don't know why. No, it's P1. Okay. Cool. This is just really underpowered compared to uh, the other modern P1 cars, it seems. And before, it's just like mislabeled in this game. Or misclassed or something. I don't fucking know. Anyways, here's the early points stuff. Almost to race two. After we get our uh, triple level up, of course. Oh boy, 20% discount on stuff. Okay, Road America, race to attempt to. Let us uh, try this again. And this time, uh, not get dicked by Rossi. After we go off into the grass, of course. Oh god, I am just shitting the bed everywhere. Okay. Already off to a worse start this time. GG me, GG. Anyways. Let's just try to get around Weber and effectively. Or not, yeah, Weber. race, if only. Oh god. Why do you tap the brake there? Okay, um... Now, let's just move on. Go for that top spot, yo. Forward in the can on the corner, and here we go. Time to gain like three seconds. That's enough to get me into the slipstream. Go car, go. Two hundred one miles per hour at the end of the straight. Oh god, so much fast. Hey, Danny. Okay, go. Oh, 
probably force a Mueller wide here. Okay. Now, let's turn our focus to Rossi. And, uh, hopefully pass this fucker and then stay ahead of him this time. I.e., don't go off into the grass at the end of the carousel. Oh, not paying attention. Instead, I'm going off into the grass in the swag turn. Okay, I looked away for a fucking second. This is why I only should only glance at the chat while going completely straight. <sighs> Come on, make it through turn one. Yeah, got him. Okay. Let us focus on the task at hand and on the track in front. Yeah, work cones. That didn't stand a chance. Yes, yeah, so you got some glorious tickets for left turn cubbies. Heck yeah, fam. Get the fuck back here, Rossi. to be this far ahead of me. Not allowed to be ahead of me, period. Oh, shit. Okay, he's got 2.7 second advantage. Holy shit. How does this happen? Seven two point two. Oh shit. Carousel is so, like, unnerving. Because it's like, you make one mistake, you're going flying off the track. I mean, that could be true about every corner, but the carousel is especially scary because of how long it is. I mean, if you want to tell me the plans, Cubbies, go ahead. Or tell them the plans, or what the fuck ever. I'll be over here trying to catch this fucker in front of me. Still not within slipstream range. <clears throat> Hopefully after turn three it will be. Maybe we should stop going to third gear for this first turn. I only need fourth. Within range? Nope. Damn. 
Ja. Schneikis. Okay, that's that's way too early. Way to cut the turn, me. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Well, XL, you call me fat? No, no. Call me fat, as I told you, my shirt size. We're too small, fuck off Q. I'm not that fat, I'm just moderately fat. Okay, now we can slipstream the Rossi. Just give me that speed boost, fucker. it. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Hey, he's actually giving me the lane this time. First time for everything. Fair, he just chopped my nose off. Like he's been doing. Died. Junky XL, yes. It's exactly the size I need. Nice meme cue. Alright, well, you know what's coming. Just have to aim my car correctly, which I did. Thank God. Keep tight line, and there we go. We got him. Got him. Take that, Rossi. You really need to stop letting me pass you right at the end of the race, Rossi. Probably do you a little well. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> hey, both of the Audis beat Williams Acura this time. Nice. Now we have the slow ass ones, i.e., Kato and Jones. Yeah, didn't even need the uber retard dive. There we go, two races down. And we have a tie in points, other than that, everyone else has finished in the same spot as in race one. I have a feeling it's going to continue throughout the rest of this championship. So onwards to race three. Uh, Okay, take three. Um, that was awful. That, that was just straight up awful. Everything went wrong in that attempt, okay. And that wasn't even half a lap. Oh! Nice, nice chopping, Rossi. Do you feel proud of yourself? I hope you got engine damage, you fuck. For that. Taco Bell was delicious, and also garbage. Oh god. Uh, I went off road fury. I do plan on doing off road fury three. 
eventually. I have no idea when and it is nowhere in my priority list right now. But it is on my I want to do it list. Well, I haven't done Offer Fury 3 yet. I've done Offer Fury 2 and 1, but not 3. Plus, I don't even know if I like have the skills to 100% off Road Fury 3, because fuck those freestyle events. Just fuck them. So I just kind of easily got the lead here. Usually happens after uh, a couple fails. Just easily win. Oh no. A few miles down to do list, yeah. Like, I know there's jokes everywhere about, like, involving Chris Jericho's list of 1,004 holes. My LP list is almost li literally that large. Almost. It's on the list. Looky here, Mr. Aggressive Man. I saw what you did to Miller. At the launch. Oh, God. and Q's here and at least pull out a little bit of a gap. Can help me if I need it. I mean, you can't help lack of skill. That's, that's all I can say. I think, um, I think the thing I struggled the most with in Alfred Fury 3 was getting, like, the combo chains. When the game is like, hey, get a combo of 13 different moves. I'm like, how the fuck do I do this? Like, yes, I know I have to chain like manuals and fucking bicycles and stuff, but fuck me for being able to do that. I can't. Oh, hey, Rossi. That's one of those things I'm not very capable of getting good at, so if eh, eh, eh. Crazy ass Italian behind me. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy crap. Will they make Ron Gordon Stadium Super Trucks racing the game? I actually would like to see that. I mean, Automobilista has Stadium Super Trucks. That's about the closest thing. It's unlicensed, of course, but they have, like, that vehicle and race type, I think. Well, I don't know about race type, but that vehicle type. Okay. Pulled out a nice gap here. Sweet. Looks different than GT5. I don't know in what way. Looks the same to me. Looks the same to me. 
might be delivery that is different. I don't know. What has happened in this race? We have some wrecked cars here. Outside the top four, I think everybody died. I, I like I just looked over at the map and I saw that like someone is like freaking almost a full lap behind. Like what the fuck happened? see a difference. Taillights, I guess, because since it's one bar it's, as opposed to two on each side, I think, or something like that. Oh god. I really need to stop out breaking myself this turn. Really, really need to. exactly know what you mean by jump the shark. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Please help. I'm a, I'm a simpleton here. How the fuck was that last lap clean? Like, how was I... Oh, decline quality. Uh... Well, you see, Shadow the Hedgehog was a thing. Where they tried to make it edgy and with guns. And then Sonic 06 happened. So the less we talk about that, the better. So, you know, I'd say what made them jump the shark is, um, they made one... Wildly hated, but I still think it's good game and uh, one absolute fucking fuckfest that was rushed out for release because of deadlines and it's just absolutely horrible in every way, shape, or form, pretty much. Except for the music, of course, because the music is always top notch. Oh god. Okay, Ross is around my ass again. Uh, thank you, Ingo. Take a good that one corner. I'm working on a Q. Not very well, but I'm working on it. Question is, am I gonna catch this back marker? Australian, I assume, since we said good day. Shit, I am catching the back marker. Careful. No wheel spin. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened. I just kind of had a uh, big crash from fifth on back. No, Australians don't say good day at night because it's not night for them right now. Learn how to time zones, bruh.
Is Panos in last? Oh, I see Weber's also has some issues somewhere. I think this is a replay we're gonna have to save just to uh find out what the fuck happened. So uh WTF Oh shit. Alright. So uh there we go. Um I, I think it's transition time. <laughs> while we wait on Jones to finish. Hey, look, Jones finally made it across the line, so, um... Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting race to check out the replay of, if I remember to check it out. Oh, forgot to look at the points. There you go. This has kind of shuffled the points a bit in the second half of the field. Oops. Hold on. Oh well. So, after that, whatever happened behind, let's go to race four. Okay, let's try to not suck ass this time. That'd be cool. Fucking just nose it right into fucking Arnage. That was amazing. Uh, it's like I've said, I'm just really terrible at Arnage for some reason. I don't know what it is about that turn, but I just cannot do that turn in most, like, most of the time. Oh god, I missed the breaking point gonna have to do a Lewis Hamilton here, except I'm not getting the advantage. May or may not cut those guys off. Okay, well, um, we're not off to a good start here, but... Nah. Some people think it's like, oh, it's only three hundred dollars. Yeah, three hundred dollars is still a lot of money, bro. Yeah, trust me, you're not the only one that doesn't like the Mercedes domination in F1. Just, <laughs> people still watch F1, surprisingly. I say. I don't like Mercedes dominance, but I will be really happy if Nico Rosberg wins the title. Just cause, fuck all the people who are like, doing a bunch of narratives against Rosberg and for Hamilton. It's like they're pretty much painting Rosberg as a bad guy who actually isn't. It's really fucking shitty. Two wins. One of those is uh, Verstappen, the holy lord of Formula One. And the other is Ricardo. King of the thing that fucking Andre Harrison absolutely despises, the Shoei. Which is fucking disgusting. I'll, I'll agree with him there, but hey, fuck it. If you want to drink champagne out of a sweaty, dirty shoe, that's, that's your problem. Hamilton that much. I don't dislike Hamilton, I just like a lot of other drivers more. Namely, Rosberg, Vettel, Ricardo, Perez, Hulkenberg. Uh, who else do I like? More than Hamilton. I don't even know. I kind of have a, a like, I, I know this sounds bad, but I kind of have like a sort of a pity like for uh Daniil Kvyat just because of what's happened to him this year with the whole getting fucking demoted thanks to Max Verstappen and everything that's ensued America. America. Okay, um, this is not a good start to this lap. 
I don't have many laps to uh, catch these guys, so um, this is only a three lap race. I need to get on it here. Groshan's French, but he dri I'm guessing he drives for Haas F1. This American team. Meanwhile, Haas F1, he sh that sure is shit. Unexpectedly. Or not, not unexpectedly, yeah. As in it was expected. About Gutierrez, I don't know. I'm here to stay awake. Well, you see, my sleep schedule is uh, pretty much like adjusted to this being my normal awake time since I work usually work at this time. So, crabs. Okay, I need, oh, I need to not do that. That's, that's the first thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've kind of gained a few subscribers since I've had 3K. Just a few, you know. Like 6,000, you know. Just a little. Just a couple. Oh god! Okay, that oversteer, holy shit. That was some f wicked oversteer, man. I think this calls for a restart. Cause, uh, yeah, about this. Like, the thing is, if Muller was leading, this would be entirely possible, but Rossi is like four seconds ahead of Muller at least. So, um, yeah, about that. I could probably pull off something stupid. Which is why I'm gonna go. Oh, well, speaking of something stupid, I just uh did to Mueller what happened to the Delta Wing in its debut at Le Mans. Remember that? It just got bumped off the track into the wall. Pretty much at that part right there. That was fantastic. Whoops. I'm pushing hard. Come on. 1.8 behind. Not gonna slipstream. I think, uh, I think Rossi's Pojo is tuned more for straight line speed, it seems. I'll see in NASCAR how to go to F1. Hey, remember when Scott Speed went to, was in F1? Then he sucked. And he, uh, decided to not do F1 and still sucks. to get back here. And hey, look, he slammed on the brakes over the crest. What a shock. It's so hard to see the apexes out in the interior view. I remember being hyped about Ambrose's Australian return and then it just he just kind of gave up after like half a season. It's like, uh, oh, well, shit. <laughs> but Marcus Pliss... If 
favorite drivers in Altonado. Well then, nice meme. Hey Viking. Yeah, three races, not even half a season. Okay, well if I get around these Porsche curves absolutely perfectly, I might have a tiny chance at a retard dive in the chicane. Other than that, I don't see this happening. I'm doing these curves anything but perfect. Okay, we have a chance at a dive. Diving! Oh god. Track boundaries are a thing. Okay, this is a race I should not. I had no business winning, but I won it anyways. Oh. Pulling off another fluke win. Come at me. I am the king of fluke wins in this segment, I tell you what. Fluke, clutch wins, whatever. And Rossi. The, the living, the meme himself. Okay, well, there we go. So we're on Jones and his fucking Pinos as he continues to score no points. Hey, look at Grossman. Okay, so. Two races to go. Will I have more, like, last turn passes? We're about to find out. Uh... Okay, race five. Now we're at Silverstone. Oh boy. Seven laps around the still of the stand. Whoa, 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 more. Whoa. Holy shit, man. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, son. Somehow I got no candle damage from that. The fuck is your malfunction, bro? Dude, that Davison Webb victory at Bathurst is so great. So fucking great. Yeah, it probably was as revenge for me, him, uh, me, him, wow, I can word speak. Me, uh, pushing him out to the wall and the wall. Excuse me, whatever, could you, like, get back behind me and uh, appreciate that? Thank you. Much appreciated. back up to these guys. Hopefully. And I'm sure I'll gain a lot of time through the S's, so you know. Oh, not if I do that. Touch the grass, kill the cone, holy shit. Yeah, well, we're trying to keep Alley relevant. We tried. So hard. In the end, you know. You know where this meme goes. Wow, that was awful. I'm gonna start breaking earlier for that. So basically, Jamie Wincope had the biggest heel turn whenever that wreck.
fuck happened when he was trying to uh, redress his position but also hold back, was it James Courtney? At the same time, because you know. Crabs? Oh, see a scotch. Okay, five to go. Pretty sure I did not gain any time on more. Throughout the entire lap. My nose is not helping. It's being really itchy and annoying and shit. I'm gonna blame this all on my nose. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. Oh, it was Tander he held back, okay. Just a big mess. Just a big fucking mess. It really sucks for Wind Cup because he was put on the drive a lifetime up till that point. Fucking setting lap records in the race one after another. Pretty fucking crazy. What's my favorite Metallica song? Uh, I would probably go with The Outlaw Torn as my favorite Metallica song. I don't know why. I just really, really, really like that song. A lot. Anyways, we have flabbed our way around more. Now let's catch Rossi. Which I'm doing very quickly here, because they are slow in the S's. Uh. Orion takes a cake for you. Orion's great. There's like, there's so many like really good, like, I won't lie, Outlaw Torn is not the best Metallica song, it's just my favorite. Like, I, you know, there's a lot better songs written by them, but it's just the one that I enjoy the most. Oh, the Metallica song you know is Inner Sandman, that's fine. At least you know a song. Oh god, how you doing, Rossi? What is up, my man? Call of Cthulhu is great. All their instrumentals are fucking incredible. Their entire discography is great, except for, you know, that one. Yeah, that one. I still enjoy listening to it, but... Ah, it is a, such a bad Metallica album. having a sad, okay. The modem just fucked itself, I think. Cool. Okay, having internet issues. Fantastic. Oh, well, I'll just keep going. Flying solo now. distract me too much. So, you know, crab. Clab stab, I don't know. How am I supposed to do commentary without the aid of my chat? Uh. Oh fuck, that was not good. Really hope we had a better exit than that. Alright, two to go. Oh, if 
I do as well. I can definitely make a move out of the S's. It's just setting it up is going to be the f hard part. Yeah, didn't quite set it up right. I do have a slipstream. I was really hoping to get a uh, good run there, but no. Okay, I still have time. I'm going to follow him for now. Swoose. Got the swoose move. Oh shit. He's fighting back. It's a dead heat. Oh, come on, clear him. Got him cleared. Okay. Go. Alright. One lap to go. And here he comes with a lot of speed. Okay, that was, that was tight. That was a brown moment off our. And yeah, I got a gap. Uh, fucking load him. It's not even like resetting, it's just like not getting internet for whatever reason. I don't even know what the hell it's doing. I think this is more Comcast having issues than my modem being a shit. To be honest. I have some... I have some... little, uh... paint scrapes in the front of my car. But no mechanical damage, so that's good. Oh shit, stay out of the grass. There we go, we win. Alright. Hey, now the motor reset. Completely. Alright, now it's just gotta go through its booting process or some shit. I don't even know. Hey, I won! I guess the fuckers will just have to watch the video to see what happens in the rest of this series. Ah, ha, 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 depending on how long my internet's gonna be out. Let's fuck it, I'm gonna keep going. So I make bad decisions, huh? Uh, let's wait on Kato and Jones. Bring up the rear. Well behind. Alright, so. Well, points are pretty much settled. Jones is probably going to continue to be shut out. Leave, we have one race to go. So, uh, to the finale of this segment. I am really friggin' struggling with this race. A lot. I don't know why, I just am. It's really fucking annoying. I'll tell you that much. Oh, okay. I have to deal with weather this time at least. So you do not have as good of a launch. Miller going for the lead. Into turn one. And not getting it. Trying for the crossover. Didn't get it. Rossi shut the door on that one. Not going for it there. I am going to go for it here, though. Easy pass, okay. Now, let's try not to do the thing that I've been doing a lot throughout this race, and that is uh, going off track and just generally driving like garbage. 
that that'd be nice if I stop doing that. Okay, that's way too much time spent on that curve. It got got unhappy with me. Extreme Rossi on the front straight here. Just try to keep my car within the fucking track boundaries for once. to lift. I'll take it. Uh, do I go for the dive here? Eh, too far away to try. Well, I'm not too far away to try, but I'm too far away to uh, feel confident in that move. Oh my god. How you doing? No fucking grip. That understeer, man. That dirty air, man. Oh. Pretty sure dirty air is not a thing in this game, but it sure seemed like it right then and there. Okay, gonna get a r good run out of this last sweeper. Not really, but I got the slipstream. Drag race with Rossi. He's got the straight line advantage. Oh my goodness. And he was chopping the shit out of my nose. That was very, very close. Holy fuck. Okay. Oh shit. For here. Trying it. And succeeding. Okay. That went a lot better than expected. I'm not gonna lie. A good run through that turn. Okay. Now let's just keep my car on the track and we'll be fine. We'll be a okay. Hey, it looks like my internet's finally coming back. Cool. Finally, it was like fucking 15 minutes downtime, or some shit like that. Let's see if I can uh, restart the stream. I'll do it next lap, because it's still kind of fucking. A little bit. Should be fine by the time I finish this lap, though. Alright, but for now, let's focus on getting around this track without making any big mistakes. Stay within track boundaries and I'll be fine. Hey, yeah, well, I'm on pace to absolutely demolish my best lap so far. Not anymore! I did the thing I said I didn't need to do. Should avoid like the plague. Son of a bitch. Never fails. To fail. Okay, let's just get an 
nice run out of this sweeper, so I don't really have to worry about Rossi. Go fifth gear. Try to click this start streaming button. Okay. Now. Hey, the stream is coming back, sweet. Now the only problem I have with this is I don't have a chat, because I have to completely refresh the page for the chat client to work again, and I am kind of in no position to do that. But I won't be able to do that until the race is over. Hey, at least people can watch me live now, so that's good. But I'm still going in blind. Quick now, talk all the shit you want about me. I won't be able to see it. Call me a fucking gobshite or whatever the hell that guy said in part one of GT4. An annoying gobshite, that's it. Okay. Let's break earlier for this turn, so I don't know, flying off into the grass, because, you know, flying off into the grass is a bad thing. Oh, late on the brakes again. Okay. Saved it. Where is the apex? I can't see. Literally blind. Literally. Anyways. I'm not gonna go into that again. I really need to stop breaking so goddamn late. I'm scaring myself. Really need to stop breaking so goddamn late. Okay, two to go. I got a slim advantage over Rossi. Good enough, I guess. Oh, that's that's the curb. Okay, that was almost off track. I don't know what it is with me and this car and this track, this car track combination, but I just cannot keep this thing on the road. At all. Probably because of the little visibility I have on the actual corner apexes. Just the corners in general. I slow down way too much for this turn. What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Okay, not too much longer now. through the chicane. There's hello people in chat that uh, I can't see. One more lap and I'll be able to communicate. Ah. Oh nice, getting like a second that lap on Rossi. Let's do it again. Make this a final lap of success, not a final lap of fail. Please. Please me. Kinda concentrating here. A bit. Oh, yeah, there's, here we go. Here's a good final lap. Getting 1.2 in the green. Let's not ruin it now. Where's the apex? Okay, one more corner and we're home free. Oh, please do not. Okay. Almost threw it away. I would have been very upset with myself if I threw it away there. Very upset. But it didn't. And there we go. I win. Okay. Time to refresh my chat page. Ah. Okay, well, 
for those who weren't able to see this live, aka everybody, because I wasn't, you know, stream was down for a bit, um, this took like four or five attempts, because I just generally could not keep this car within the track limits. So, hooray. But now, I have succeeded. Swag. Refresh a little. Hey, I can see a chat. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. Championship complete. Here's final standings. Jones did not score a single point because he sucks. And yeah. And yeah. So. There we go. The LMP Invitational complete, and all the circuit spec series are now complete. Hey, back up to 3 million credits, finally. Finally. Time for the next so, world So, there we go. Good luck. Circuit spec championship is done. Well, championships. So now, next time on Forza Motorsport 3, before we get started with the next section of the professional section, <laughs> eh, we have the next round of the R1 World Championship to do, so, yeah, stay tuned for that.